So as we all know that vitamin C is this antiscobutic factor that is isolated in um, late 1920s by Dr. Zen George. And then he got the Nobel Prize um, in 1937 that year for this discovery. And the same years of um, uh, Nobel Prize in chemistry is awarded to Dr. Um, Howells partly because of his uh, work in synthesis vitamin C. So vitamin C was highlighted in that year. So after the discovery of vitamin C, it has been identified as an essential uh, nutrient uh, that has important biofunctions. It's a core enzyme, um, core factor for at least nine enzymes in our body, including dopamine synthesis, uh, collagen synthesis, um, wound healing, and it's a famous antioxidant defense in the cell. Um, so, you know, vitamin C here, um, Vitamin C as an antioxidant is because it's an electron donor. It gives out two electrons step by step. So by giving out one electron, it becomes a radical. There's no pointer. Okay, so it becomes a radical there, as you can see in the second step there. And it go ahead to um, give out another electron, becomes dehydroascorbic acid, it's, uh, it's oxidated form. And this dehydroascorbic acid has a, a very similar structure with glucose. So it can go into the cells through glu glucose transporters, groups one and groups four at least. And ascorbate itself has its specific transporter called sodium-dependent vitamin C transporters. So it goes into cell uh, by two ways. So, um, until uh, dehydroascorbic acid step, it, uh, the uh, uh, oxidant and uh, uh, re reduction um, reactions are reversible. Uh, but when, it's, when the ring uh, is open and the ascorbate break down, it be metabolized and uh, uh, get excreted through kidney. So um, vitamin C in cancer, uh, the function is really highlighted by Linus Pauling in 1970s. Pauling and his colleagues did an uh, um, experiment in uh, 200 terminal uh, cancer patients. They found a prolonged survival, uh, uh, improved quality of life. And uh, in 1980s, a Japanese uh, study followed Linus Pauling had similar results. So in 1980s, there are two formal uh, placebo-controlled double-blind trials done by Mayo Clinic at uh, the US uh, trying to define uh, the benefit of vitamin C in cancer treatment, but both trials failed. There is no benefit in those trials. So from then, uh, vitamin C as a cancer treatment is dismissed by the, com uh, the um, conventional medical society. However, its use continued uh, in the uh, complementary alternative medicine field. Uh, we did this survey uh, in 2006 and 2008. More than, more than 10,000 patients per year received a high dose of vitamin C, average 28 grams per infusing. And then they were treated uh, for infection, for cancer, and uh, for a lot of many, uh, many, many other uh, indications. And then this is a, um, we believe is an incomplete survey and the use is actually more because by industrial cell, the uh, number doubled. And then for so many uh, high dose use, uh, uses of vitamin C, it's proved to be safe. For the survey, it's safe, it's uh, free of major toxicity. And we serve the FDA advice uh, effect database. Uh, there's uh, basically nothing reported there for a toxicity of vitamin C. And then we search the literature. So if the patient has a glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase activity, and if the patient has sufficient kidney function, vitamin C is safe. There are many, uh, maybe some of you know better than me in the cases, many case report out there now. Uh, this is an incomplete list here uh, of individual cancer cases that vitamin C has benefit. Uh, basically, mostly these cases fall into the three categories. 
uh, unexpected stable disease, cancer remission unexpected, and then um, long-term cancer-free survival. And then our survival will pass the life expectancy of the, of the patient, or uh, the um, initial case, initial disease stabilized, stabilized but when uh, the patient dropped vitamin C, it recurred. So why that um, 1980 Mayo Clinic uh, trials fail? So um, why the results with observation and, and Pauline's early studies so conflicting with the uh, Mayo Clinical trials? And is there a scientific basis for the widely spread use of the high-dose vitamin C? Uh, 